How's it going everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson here for Distortion Brothers Guitar Shop and today we are taking a look at this beautiful AJ from John Page Classics Guitars. <laughs> If you're not familiar with John Page Classics, it comes with quite a pedigree. John Page is one of the co-founders of the Fender Custom Shop, and after leaving his position, decided to start his own custom guitar shop, which a lot of guys tend to do. He refined those old familiar designs and they became something, as the company likes to say, uniquely familiar. Different takes on classic designs and I'm pretty sure just by looking at this you can tell where the inspiration comes from. That T style school of thought that we all know and love. But there's lots of great changes to the basic template that make this a really pleasant guitar to play. So let's talk about those specs. First and foremost, it's an alder body with some really awesome grain to it. I, I think this is probably one of the nicest pieces of alder that I have seen wood grain wise. With this awesome two-tone sunburst finish. You have a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. And the cool thing is with the neck joining the body, John actually uses metal inlays in the neck pocket and uses real metal screws to couple the body to the neck, allowing for more transference of the tone. And the neck feels great. It is instantly recognizable as that soft C shape that is very familiar, but it's not too fat, it's not too thin, and it's enough to really affect the overall tone. The cool thing also with the neck is that the headstock don't have any string trees and there's some very straight string pull on that so this thing stays in tune very very well. You have six inline vintage style Godo tuners which a little thing that I think is kind of cool the hole where you put the guitar string in starts at the top of the tuning peg so that you can work the extra string length down the tuning peg which I think is one of those small touches that would go unnoticed but is a really handy thing to have. It's got your classic three saddle bridge, which a lot of guys know from their experience is not always the most ideal for intonation, but you get compensated intonation brass saddles for that classic sound and modern reliability. But even better is you have the option to go through body on the strings or top loader style. You can pick or choose, it's a great option. Now electronics wise, this is where it gets really interesting and definitely departs from that T style guitar we all know. First off, the bridge pickup is the most noticeable thing. As you can see, sure, it's like a standard T style pickup, but it's reverse angled. You know that whole old Hendrix trick? Well that reverse angle allows for a little bit more tightness on the low strings with a little bit of more, I would say, punch and clarity, whereas you get the softening effect of having the treble side of the strings so that you don't get the ice pick highs that you always associate with these old F-style guitars. Now, another noticeable difference is what's in the neck. This is a P90, and both these are John Page designed Bloodline JP3 pickups. And this P90 pickup, man, I am a huge P90 fan. And I've always wanted to hear them inside of a T style guitar. And it definitely is a great marriage of these two pickups together. Now, you heard a few different sounds using some effects, and we should probably check this out just dry. So why don't we do that? We will go clean and some distortion, running my normal rig with my full pedal board into my orange rocker verb, mic'd up in the other room, orange PPC 212 Vintage 30 speakers, an SM57, a Cascade Fathead, and into Pro Tools. So let's check this thing out.
Okay, let's listen to the AJ on a clean sound. Now we're just gonna go dry here, and you'll be able to see and hear how the different positions sound and how these pickups really work well together. We'll start with a bridge pickup. Go to middle and then neck. <laughs> These pickups are definitely rooted in a classic sound, but they have their own unique twist to them that I think makes them really, really special. The reverse angle really helps tame that high end that is often offending with typical Telecaster style guitars and pickups, but the neck P90 is just something completely unique. I personally find that normal Telecaster style neck pickups are a little tinny and don't quite have the body and since I'm mostly a humbucker guy I like a lot of that body in my guitar sound but this it's got that growl that I love about P90s but a little bit more clarity to it so that if I wanted to do some more complex arpeggiated chords <laughs> weight to the sound, but there's also clarity to it, so it's not muddy, which is a really, really welcome thing. And they just match so well together. They play nicely. It's, it's a really pleasant combination of pickups. <laughs> Very expressive, very dynamic, very fun to play. But of course, like with guitars of this ilk, there are some things that you guys are going to want to know if it can do. I'm going to slap on a little bit of compression from a Pigtronics Philosopher's Tone and uh, see if we can get the chicken picking deal going. <laughs> I also like the low notes for that kind of sound with that heavily compression. I think that the reverse angle lends a nice bit of clarity to the bass end strings so that you can really do some of those nice quarter step bends. <laughs> Now most people I know when they think this guitar, it's inspiration, they don't see it as much of a rock instrument. But I think that this particular guitar is a very, very versatile instrument. So let's check it out with some distorted tones. I've got the gain on the amp just halfway up and we'll run through the pickup sounds dry. First the bridge pickup, middle, then neck.
there's a lot of great rock tones in that. And I love the fact that I don't even have the gain up very much and I still feel like it could do some really serious rock. <laughs> be a punk instrument if you want it to. Or go to the middle position, which is really handy that uh, when you go into the middle position it's noise canceling and uh, you can start things up and get your keith on. Make sure you wear your strap low for that one and uh, maybe have a few cigarettes before you start. I'm not condoning smoking. But yeah, it's very, very versatile and I am so surprised. And the fact that it is such a comfortable playing guitar for somebody like me who is a rock musician first and foremost, I've rarely found these types of guitars to be comfortable, but this is just an incredibly comfortable thing. And especially when it comes to playing high up on the neck, get a lead sound pulled up, add on a little bit of extra grit, and uh, that neck heel, man, I can just get my hand way up there, and it is a breeze. I don't feel like it's much effort at all. <laughs> been able to hit the highest fret on a F style guitar in God knows how long. That neck heel just kills every time. But this, man, I can get right up there and just have a grand old time and it is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And there you have it, everybody. There is your look at the AJ from John Page Classics, which, in my opinion, is the best Telecaster-style guitar I've played in a very long time. And I've always been a fan of the Telecaster. It's an incredibly awesome guitar. But there's always been things about the other models that are made by the people who make it and other builders that I consider to be shortcomings. And to me, the AJ takes care of all of those. You get warmth from the neck pickup, but with a little bit of extra clarity for the pickup style, and you get those tamed highs that in, are in the bridge pickup. It, that's awesome. That's always been one of the things about you know those styles of guitars that I've just been like, I wish it wasn't that way, but here it is, taken care of. The neck is incredibly comfortable. You can get way up high and you're not gonna feel like you're being blocked from, well, expressing yourself, which is what we're supposed to do with these instruments, make music and express ourselves. It stays in tune really well, and the fact that you can go between a string through body style T guitar and a top loader T is incredibly awesome. It's incredibly versatile. You can find what works for you, and that is something I can really say to give credit to the AJ. It is very, very versatile, and that's what you want. Now, the price, it hovers in and around $1,500, so it's not the most expensive option, but it's also not the least expensive. But if you ask me, for the money that you pay for this guitar, you are going to get years of playing satisfaction out of it. And what more could you want? And well, what more you could want is having one. So if you want to add one of these AJs to your collection, visit distortionbros.com or give Mickey a call and he'll help you out. And until next time, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, and I'll see you real soon.